Moon will make its move in the zodiac sign of Aries on 10th of July. And then till very early hours of 13th of July, Moon will be in the Aries zodiac sign. Aries will uh, see the separation of Jupiter and Rahu. I've made a video for that on my main channel. So you can watch that video. The link will be available. And also, if you see, Moon will cross the Gandanta of Ashlesha and Magha Nakshatra. Now, when Moon enters the Aries zodiac sign, it immediately encounters Rahu in Ashwini Nakshatra. And if you see, when Moon was in Pisces, it was under Papkarthari between Rahu and Saturn. So, Moon might face a lot of illusions. Moon might face, uh, you know, a lot of uh, corruption of the mind. Negative emotions might come in, especially in the first half of this transit. But on the second half of the transit of the moon, that means on the next day of the moon transit, moon will slowly start moving towards Jupiter. As soon as moon enters Bharani Nakshatra, moon will encounter Jupiterian energy and therefore this will start giving creative abilities to the mind. This will give you new ideas, new opportunities and sometimes you need the power of Rahu so that you can think beyond the obvious and someone uh, a kind of a power that helps you cross your limits to expand your limits not necessarily that you have to break rules but it helps you create rules so this is a time of uh, a transit where your mind will create new set of rules your mind will create new ideas new thoughts and so you have to document it you have to respect it your gut feeling will increase your sixth sense will increase and this will also help you prevent from any unnecessary problem from a future problem that might come in. So you have to give proper response or proper, you know, proper respect to your own gut feeling. So do not avoid your emotions on this day. And when moon will move in Aries zodiac sign, Mars will be with Venus in the fifth house. So this is kind of a time where your creativity will be all time high, your expression will be good and you will feel good. You will, you, in spite of all the confusion of Jupiter and Rahu, still you will feel good. Why? Because uh, for with Rahu, Moon will remain for a very small period. But for the other, for, for the remaining part of the transit in Aries, Moon will be mostly impacted by Jupiter. Mars and Venus being fifth from the Moon helps you express yourself positively. So if you want to put forward your point of view, if you want to talk, if you want to share your thoughts, then this will be the right time to do so. Overall, Moon transit in Aries will be excellent. Chant Guru Bij Mantra. Surya Gayatri Mantra, you can also chant Purusha Suktam or pray to Bhagwan Narayan by chanting Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Take the guidance from a Guru. Start learning something in your life. This is the right time to do that. And all this will help you focus your mind to positive things. Thank you for watching this video till now. Please subscribe to my channel. You are watching Sadgamaya. This is your one-stop destination for short astrology videos. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Namaste.